Christina Rex is at the crime scene in Roxbury where this officer was shot about two hours ago. Christina, what are you seeing there? Well, Lisa, first off, where this crime scene is, not too far from Boston Medical Center from where you just heard from Chris, where that officer was brought. So just want to show you what I'm seeing now. I'm here on Magazine Street in Roxbury, but where the crime scene appears to be is actually on Cedric Street, which is down a block to the right. You can't see it from here. It's right around those buildings, but you see the flashing lights down here. Uh, in that area, it's mostly residential, but there are a couple of businesses, a school as well, obviously not in session at the time that this crime allegedly occurred. Many officers in this area, many, many streets blocked off. We saw several people trying to get to their homes, actually unable to get to their homes right now because it's a crime scene. Um, and there are also traffic issues to a degree because of the level of this crime scene, the extent of this investigation. We struggled to turn onto Mass Ave because it's blocked off at parts. We spoke to a lot of neighbors who were out standing on their porches just trying to find out what's going on. That's sad. This neighborhood is getting worse and worse, and especially a cop, too. My feeling goes to his family. I hope he's okay. Hope he's okay. Like I said, the cops from here to the hospital and just that whole area blocked off and having trouble getting here, it was just, I don't know, a hassle to get home. But. Here. And many of those neighbors were asking us what's going on, what's going on. They didn't actually hear the shots fired, but they were really concerned when they saw the number of police officers out here, and then they were really shocked to hear that an officer had been shot in this area. Lisa and David? Particularly for those people, Christina, who cannot get home right now, give us some sense now that you've oriented us with the number of homes there uh, and where you are compared to the crime scene. How large is the crime scene that investigators will be working in? So it seems to cover several blocks. Uh, when we first got here, my photographer and I kind of did a walk around the neighborhood to talk to neighbors, find out what they heard, find out what's going on. We went down several blocks, and there was police tape blocking off access to this area. We also saw officers in people's driveways, looking in backyards, asking neighbors questions. And I did hear some officers telling some neighbors who couldn't get to their homes that it's going to be a very long night before they're able to get back inside their homes, even asking them if they had somewhere else where they'd be able to stay tonight, Lisa. Well, that's a densely populated area. Christina Rex, thanks so much for that live report.